Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a broad variety of analytics and data science topics, everything from open discussions to platforms. And today I'm talking about platforms. I cover both commercial and open source. Today we're talking about R. Um, this is a continuing series on time series, especially the last few. We've talked about um, financial uh, series and today we're going to continue with that. We're talking about quant mod and we're actually preparing for next time we're going to be talking about uh, Garch and so um, we'll get right into into our studio and um, this is a, a reference to Lander and so what I want to do is I want to bring in a different series from, from last time. We've been looking at the world data indicators, um, GDP. I'm going to now switch to um, some data that's within this quant mod library. And uh, I'm going to bring in this AT&T data set, which is uh, stock prices. We'll take a look at that. Um, so if I look at the the head here, you can see that uh, we have uh, date, we have uh, open, high, low, close uh, prices for AT&T, the volume and adjusted. Um, so let's look at that in really in detail within R. So using the view option, I can see here that I have 3,000 uh, 33 entries into this uh, table um, and I'm showing the the first few I've got um, again just this is representation of the, of the data that we were just talking about okay so that's using uh, view in, in R if I wanted to create a simple plot in R I can use the plot command and we can see um, what this time series looks like. However, if we use the extensible time series package, we can get some really nice views within R uh, of this data. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this chart series function and, and plot that data. And uh, so I get, uh, I get both the, the, the price, the high, the low, and the volume of, of this the stock price over time automatically and uh, this is this is quite nice um, so I can see uh, from everything from January 2007 to current um, January 2019 and it, it's and it, this day is quite ripe for for modeling right and that's what we'll be doing next time is we'll be doing some forecasting but let's look, do some simple diagnostics and uh, indicators. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add these uh, Bollinger bands and uh, I can see here basically what I did is I it wrapped I believe it's a 20 uh, order of 20 uh, moving average uh, to this data um, and then a two standard deviation uh, band above up and up and below and so for the last uh, stock price, I could see that the last price was $30.96, and then here are my upper and lower limits um, for that. Also, you know, we can do a lot of analysis on the, the actual volume, some interesting things, some interesting spikes here. We can go back and look at those. Of course, there's lots of things you can do within this data, and this is just really the purpose of the series is just to, to whet your appetite and get you going. Um, the other thing that we could do is this oscillator that we can create as well, right? So um, this essentially is a uh, moving average oscillator that's created. It's actually been around for, for quite a, a while, um, but it gives you an idea of the the signal in the direction of the of the market. So I can see here that the actual signal um, is Right now, it's negative 0.921, which which essentially means uh, kind of a bearish indicator. Um, 
and you can look this look this up on your own. Essentially, that's um, MACD is like a moving average convergence divergence oscillator, and it looks at the which way the 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 bands are going uh, for the moving average. And again, one of the most important statistics is this signal indicator. Um, and you can zoom in. It's, it, it's good to zoom in on a, a shorter time period as well. All right. So just a couple other things we're going to because we're going to need those for next time is I'm going to pull off the, the close price. I'm going to uh, see what what class I have there, and it is extensible time series. And uh, if we look at just the head of the close price, I get get this simple series. And that's what we're going to be using uh, next time. So hopefully you will join me back um, for R29. Thanks.